Sorry, I'm just looking at Justin dancing with Gus. Wow. All right, guys, welcome to Budget Eats. We have gone camping. This is my first time in the outdoors, and I am delighted that there's no ambulances, motorcycles, airplanes, and we are going to be attempting to feed me, Justin, Julia, and Chelsea all day long on just $20. Can we do it? Will they like my food? Justin! Oh, what is the reason? Can I give you a real reason? I don't know, but I'm just thanking God that Aaron is not here to be freaking sprinkling red pepper and ice tasty on every single thing. So we drove in yesterday, we went out shopping at 9 p.m. We found a store that had a dollar shelf and we just grabbed everything. And then we went to Wegmans and then we grabbed more stuff. And lo and behold, we got this entire spread. I didn't think I would be doing budget eats upstate New York, but we're doing it. Corn tortillas, a dozen eggs, very sad styrofoam ones, cannellini beans, black beans, Julia's request, some good old spam. Three plantains for a buck. Sweetened condensed milk that I thought was on sale for two for three dollars, but it was actually two nineteen. Some really cheap peanut butter. We got some mac and cheese shells, family size, for a dollar ninety nine. I thought I could not find this deal outside of Queens, but I did. A buck broccoli. Some Weggies canned tomatoes for 69 cents each. Instant mashed potatoes, one of my favorite ingredients ever in life. We got a small quart of milk for 139. Three packs of instant ramen, a buck. And some cream style corn, 49 cents. All of this we got for 19.98. Ta-da. Obviously this is gonna be a little different because I have fire. I potentially have a camp stove. I have some of my pots, some of Justin's pots, and I have this Hello Kitty tackle box that I've packed. I knew that I would not be able to cook without my spices. I packed this box belovedly, and I filled it with so many things. Introducing to you my spice cabinet. We have some taco seasoning, we have some herbs, we got some TJ mushroom seasoning, we have too much stuff, steak seasoning. I didn't actually pack salt. I packed some olive oil for us to use, and then I made this pan-Asian liquid that has some gochujang and soy sauce, and I wrapped it up real nice so that nothing is leaking and nothing is leaking. Look at me, fantastic. Check out this. I packed up all of my spices in this little metal pill box, and so I have seven days of the week holding seven different spices. We got some smoked paprika, some coriander, some cumin seed, a little bit of fennel, a little bit of citron peppercorn, togarashi, six spice, that's just five spice with white pepper added, and uh, you know, maybe we'll use some of these, maybe we won't. Uh, what are you doing? I don't know, this is very distracting, it's too beautiful to cook. Breakfast, let's make some tacos. I have eggs, I have spam, I have beans, I have tortillas. That sounds pretty good. Game plan. I wrote this out last night at 2 a.m. It's gonna be great. Oh, by the way, we're in the conference center here in Lush Shores State Park, and there is no internet. So this is the first budget eats in which I have done no research at all on what recipes I will be making. This just came out of my brain. So if it tastes like they're gonna all eat it. Oh, but before we start, fire safety. I don't know how to use this, but if we have to use it, we have it. Man, it feels good to not have a sink, huh? I'm just gonna preheat this cast iron. Now we're gonna open up our spam. Mmm, I don't know why Julia likes this, but she likes it. It smells like ham, metal, and dog food. Oh yeah, baby. Mm-hmm. Thinking like three tacos per person? How, how do we want to cut this? I don't know. I never have anyone else with me when I'm cooking these, and now I'm just like... I trust you. In June, we trust. I don't trust me. Wow. These actually look delicious. Chelsea, do you like Spam? I've never had it. What? Never had it. I think that's enough for four people's breakfast, plus eggs, plus beans. Plop this one back oh. in for later. Mm. That was really satisfying. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see how this is doing. Is it hot? Are we hot? Can we cook? Oh yeah, it's hot. 
I just note that today I'm gonna either cut myself, burn myself, or both, at least three times. This is so therapeutic, except for the fact that the smoke is getting into my eyeballs. It'll be great. I love crying. <laughs> this is the perfect occasion to show off my fantastic Asian squatting skills. Ooh, there's ash on our food. Yum. All right, what spices do we want on here, Chelsea? Taco seasoning, cumin. Oh my God, look at that sear. I cannot believe. This is like fried crispy edges. It's fine. It's also <laughs> where you're standing. You could stand on. Okay. <laughs> I'm a noob. I've never gone camping. I've never cooked over a fire. I've never done any of this, but I love it. And I could see myself doing this forever. Do you think they would let me bring some alpacas to this place? The older I get, the more I think, hey, maybe you belong in a field with alpacas and no planes overhead. I think these are ready to come out soon. Next up, eggs. How many eggs do you think we need? Six? Like two each? No. Eight? If I do eight eggs, then I only have four left. Okay, I'm gonna do seven, all right? Do I have a bowl big enough for this? I don't, I don't know where I'm gonna put, whatever. Sucks that there's no compost here, you know? We're gonna poke the yolks, we're gonna scramble them, we're gonna add some herb seasoning next to them, and then we're gonna just scramble it until they're nice and silky and curdly and a little bit of salt, a little bit of herbs, a little bit of lemon. So here we have some oil that I brought from home. Travel size, fit in my taco box. I love it. I love my job today. Oh God, random leaf. Flavor. The flavor of nature. I'm lifting it from the heat because we got some overcooking here. Oh my God, these are gonna be the most glorious scrambled eggs ever. Nice, runny eggos. How are you doing over there? I don't actually know how to build a fire or keep one. So we're just gonna hope that while Justin's away, we're not gonna kill this fire. There's a lot of sodium in this packet. So I think what we're gonna do is put some smoked paprika in our black beans, along with a little bit of our ramen packet seasoning chicken flavor. All right, back on the fire. I'm gonna dump out some of this. You think bean liquid is good for plants? Sure. We're gonna go in with a little bit of oil, a little bit of juicy, juicy beans. Oh yeah. Then we're gonna go in with a little bit of our chicken packet and then smoked paprika. Fry them beans, fry them. We're gonna warm up some of our very crackly tortillas. For the damaged ones, I'm just gonna lay it on the cast iron, wait for them to get a little bit warm. For the undamaged ones, we're just gonna lay it over our grill. I have hiccups for no reason. <laughs> just some everything bagel seasoning. Shall we assemble a little bit? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, we got the tortilla, still kind of warm. We're gonna put on some eggs as the glue in the middle. We're gonna put on some Spam. We're gonna hit it with our pan Asian liquid, just a tad. We're gonna shake it up a little bit to incorporate the oils, and then just like a little like hot sauce. Boop, 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 boop. That's one taco. Who wants three tacos and who wants two? Yeah. I have three tacos. I'll take two. What are we eating today, June? We are eating breakfast tacos with uh, spiced beans, spiced eggs, spiced Spam, and my Asian liquid sauce all over it. And I believe everything's too salty. Thank you for incorporating Spam. Cheers. It's really mm. good. I love it. <laughs> it's the kind of salt where it like hurts your tongue a little bit in a good way. It's the Spam. That. I think you underestimated how salty the Spam is, but it's so good. True. This is my first time eating Spam. And I actually like genuinely really like it. It's nice. It's delicate. It's crunchy. Yeah. How much do you think you could charge for this, Justin, at a restaurant? I'm gonna say at least four bucks a taco. Ooh. Wait, I feel like there's an added value of June's tears. 
Oh yeah. So that makes it like a five. Oh, is that why they're so? So you're saying like mm -hmm. it's like plus one? Yeah, June plus tier. one. June tier. How much were the tortillas? Because they're good. One fifty. They're really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can I get a rating, chefs? Part because I've never had your budget eats cooking before. So I don't know what I'm going off of. What the curve is? Yeah, like what is it? Like what would Aaron say in this case? I'm trying to do like what would Aaron do? But you're not Aaron. You're Julia. Mm-hmm. Oh no, I'm always salty, so I'm gonna give it. Like eight spams. Oh wow. Eight spams. Eight spams. <laughs> Holy schmoles. Oh, Jules. The only thing I would want, which you can't have, is like a sour cream or avocado or something mm. creamy. So that's the only thing, but you're working within a budget. Mmm, so good though. I'm giving you a 9.2 spam. Whoa. Whoa. I think these are delicious. I would definitely want some fattiness, some acid, and I'm gonna give you six and a half spans <gasps> just Whoa. because. because just Here's, here's the reason. Can I give you a real reason? Okay. Yes. I don't want to put your ceiling low. I think that you're going to crush the rest of today. So I want to um, like, I want there to be room to grow for us to keep going. These are really good. You guys are just generous. I just can't believe you gave it a six. And it gives room to like keep growing. Cause I you think know. she needs to keep growing? No, no, no. Well, I just feel like we can't all just be tens across the board. We can't just all be tens, tens, tens. I'm going to give myself 7.8. Thanks. <laughs> I'm gonna go chug so much water. <laughs> Sanitize my towel over the smoke. All right, guys, we're gonna make a snack before we continue on to lunch because like, I don't know how, lun how long lunch is gonna take. So we're gonna crush up some ramen. We're gonna season them differently. And we're gonna have three flavored bowls of ramen for people to munch on. So I don't know if anybody else did this when they were younger, but when you have instant ramen, it's actually really delicious in this form. So I would just like crush it. I would take the spice packet out, pour the spice packet in, crush it, shake the whole bag, hope it doesn't explode on me, and then eat it. And that spice packet is actually really, really bad for you. Uh, so we're gonna season it with other shit that's not so bad for you. By the way, have you seen our cool ass shirts? Yes. Camp Delish, welcome. <laughs> I'm gonna take a bowl. I'm gonna pour this in here. I think I'm gonna do olive oil and Italian seasoning for one. Ooh. Yeah. First flavor of the day, some olive oil. And then we're gonna do some Italian seasoning. Maybe a little less salt this time. I think that's it. Yeah. Mm. Oh my God. Ramen snacks, olive oil, so good together. All right, now we're speckled. We're gonna eat this one. First flavor, down. All right, second flavor. I have coriander, paprika, and my Asian sauce. Um, I used to have a kidney condition when I was a kid, and whenever I would eat ramen with the spice packet, it would make my condition flare so bad. So whatever they put in this shit is probably not good for you. Smoked paprika. Half of it blowing into the wind. Oh my God, that's all of my paprika? Forgot to pack for the wind. And I'll also go in with a little bit of coriander. Do you think it's silly that I didn't pack black pepper on this trip? Yeah. Oh well. So all of the spices went to the little ones. I'm just gonna get a little, little one. Mmm. Mmm. I like that one. It's a little tart, a little vinegary, a little spicy. I feel like I need something though. Ooh, togarashi. Nice. Adds a little bit of nuttiness, a little bit of spice. I like that. A really cheap snack if you're looking for really unhealthy crunchies. I think for the last one, I think we should do something sweet. Like, maybe? I don't think anyone's gonna eat these snacks except me. Doesn't look like much, huh? This is possibly the most unhealthy budget eats I've ever done. This is very clumpy. I like it. We're gonna taste one. Mmm. Mmm. I'm smelling my six spice. Interesting. Why not? Go for the weird. It looks like, um, 
It looks like there's conditioner on my ramen. Silky, creamy conditioner. That's fine. I don't know if anybody else is gonna eat this, but it's fine. All right, which one do you want? I want the condensed milk one first because that sounds really weird and cool. Oh, it is like conditioner on yeah. ramen. It's really subtle, but it's really good. I really like this the one. The six spice tastes really strange, I feel like, for anyone who's not expecting that spice profile. No, I love it. You love it's it? It's really good. It's With really the sweetness? Weird. I would even up the six spice. Nice. Condensed milk and Ooh. ramen, y'all. There's a lot of small I'm get pieces. The most red pieces. You might want to get like a chunker. A chunk. Yeah. Put the little pieces. There you on go. The chunk. Make yourself a little. It's nice and spicy. Mm -hmm. Not too spicy though. I like it. It's so good texturally. Mm hmm. You can really taste the olive oil in that one. Mm hmm. It's like when you do popcorn and you do olive oil instead of butter. Mm hmm. Which is like kind of a lovely, nice surprise. Mm hmm. My favorite might be the condensed milk one. No. I'm not kidding. Do you not like it? I like this one. This I like good. that one. Mm -hmm. That's the condensed favorite. milk one is really good. So my tacos weren't weird enough for you? No, no, no. That's not the only reason why I like these, though. I just also, like, you happen to love condensed milk. I also feel like the condensed milk gives them this, like, kind of chewy Rice Krispies vibe. This is so good. I bet if you melted some marshmallows on top of these. Or white chocolate. Mm. Just a little bit. Like, truly, this. I love this, this five, six spice with mm -hmm. the sweetness. This you has like got to be like at least an eight now. Wow. Oh, what do you think, oh, Chelsea? Shit. Do you Isn't like it? it? Yeah. I think it's really good, dude. Well, that's so weird. It's weird and good. I like it. We should be doing condensed milk Rice Krispies. Everything. Condensed yeah. milk, everything. I feel like this is like fall Rice Krispie. Mmm. Put some pumpkin pie spice. Yeah. I No, yeah. don't even need pumpkin pie spice. Just more of the seasoning. But that too. I yeah. do feel like it's kind of like clovey anise. Yeah, and I love. Whoa, that's so much. Well, you asked for more. Yeah. Oh my God, that's so good. This one, mm -hmm. this one tastes like home to me. Maybe that's my favorite now. Wow, my favorite is the Italian seasoning, but I think Justin is really attached to the condensed milk one, really and Julia good. is like interesting. I would say this one is like an eight. The Italian seasoning one. I think that Rice Krispies one is like a 7.5. It's like really interesting, really enjoyable, but also like not addictive. I feel like this one is the most addictive for me. You got the salty, the spicy, the sweet, and you just alternate through all of them. Yeah, you just alternate and then you end up eating all of it. <laughs> what you got, dude? Lots of rocks. Really, really heavy. Shall we cook? Yeah, we should cook. Let's cook some pasta. Let's cook. Pasta? Yeah. Okay. We got the mac and cheese shells, but we're not going to use the cheese on the shells. We're going to use the shells with broccoli. Okay, Julia said she liked spongy spam, which she didn't get a whole lot of at breakfast, but I also really like crispy spam. I'm going to cube some of the spam for sponginess, and then I'm going to mince some of the spam for crispiness. And then we're gonna have those two in there together so that we still have spongy, but we still have crispy crunchy. I think this is gonna work. Oh, and then we're gonna put a sunny side up egg over each one's bowls. Let's see how this works. I don't know if any of this is safe, but if it's not, you let me know in the comments. We're gonna put a lid on it so it comes up to a boil faster. Okay, question for us is, do we want to season the water? And if so, with what? Salt. I don't have salt. I didn't pack salt. I only pack spices that has salt in it. It's really beautiful, the steak seasoning. It has like fennel and chili and garlic in it. And since we'll be using the pasta water later, I just wanted to make sure that our pasta gets a little bit of nice seasoning and our water is nice and flavored. We got broccoli, we got the stems. Stems we're saving for our chili for dinner. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the head, I'm gonna separate it from the stem, I'm going to peel the stem, prep the stem for dinner, set it aside, and then we're gonna chop up the florets into little bite-sized pieces, like yay big. Easy peasy, you've seen me do this so many times because I love to use the broccoli stems. You'll see where it starts to separate into this creamy white section and the kind of tough, barky outside. So just make sure you get rid of that bark and you're good to go with your stems. Cut up some spam, shall we? Mm, yes. 
Do you think we should put spam in our dinner? That means I would have to save some. Okay, so those will be the spongy bits. I think Julia will be happy. And then I'm gonna make some mincy bits that are super, super skinny. Spam is so sticky. My knife is having a very hard time coming out of each cut. This is a huge box. I honestly think it will feed so many people. Look at how much pasta is in there. We're gonna watch this very closely while Justin is rescuing the fire because these shells, if you can see, they're really thin and fragile, which means that they can overcook in the instant of a blink. Oh, it's so warm, jelly. I'm pretty sure our fire is dying. As soon as the shells look almost twice as thick as they used to be, they're ready to come out. Really wish I brought a strainer. Once I have all the pasta out, I'm gonna turn the heat back on and reduce this so that the liquid can get a little bit starchier. We're gonna use this liquid for our peanut sauce. Right now it's already really nice and silky, but I want it to get a little bit thicker. Cast iron on. We're gonna wait for that to heat up a little bit and then we're gonna go in with our spams. Spam is great for searing, we've learned today. I probably should have read the nutritional label earlier, but I just checked how much sodium content is in Spam. And there's six servings in this one can. So we ate about three servings for breakfast, which means three times 33 is 100% of one person's daily sodium intake. That's a lot of sodium, guys. Nice and smoky, oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at that color. Woo! That one's beautiful. Then we're gonna throw in a little bit of olive oil and we're gonna go in with our mince spam and our broccoli. We got some uh, local flora in here, adding flavor. And then we're gonna go in with a little bit of coriander and we're also gonna pop in a little bit of fennel. Oh yeah. Ooh, that broccoli is getting nice and vibrant. I'm also gonna add in some of our six spice because I didn't want it to burn before, but now that the broccoli is pretty much done, I'm gonna go in with a little bit. Nice. Once the broccoli looks super tender, a little bit past vibrant and a little bit more towards very soft, I'm gonna spoon them out into a bowl, combine it with our pasta, and then we're going to make our peanut sauce. That looks like a meal. All right, smooth peanut butter. Julia said that we can give Gus a treat. So Gus is going to have the honorary first scoop of smooth processed peanut butter heaven. Yay. Yay, Gus. Budget eats treats for all. Mm. How's that? Let's make our peanut sauce. So I'm going to take peanut butter, I'm gonna take our pasta water, I'm gonna take my Asian liquid, and I'm going to toss them all together until they're nice, smooth, emulsified, and then we're gonna pour it over our pasta. Let's get the uh, carby scum off. That won't disintegrate, but we will be using the rest of this deliciously thick, silky liquid. I feel like that's maybe half a cup. I'm just gonna say that much, whatever that much is. And then we're gonna go in with our Asian liquid, I'm gonna pour in that much. It's gonna be breaky a little bit, and if it does happen, just add a little bit more pasta water to bring it together. We're gonna combine it into our pasta. Let's serve, guys. Eggy time. A little bit of oil for non-stick release on our eggs. I don't know if that's ripping. Okay. But it is kind of uneven, so I might only... Oh, oh. Justin, are you making fun of us? No. Yes, you are. Probably should have gotten goggles for this trip. Oh yeah, now we're cooking. So I'm gonna move this egg over yonder, gently. Ugh. My eyeballs. I know, but I only have three hours of sleep. My braid isn't working. Probably just be 
your, your... Oh, we have no internet. <laughs> There's no civilization here. Mm, yes. Come on over to this side of the pan, my darling. Nice eggs. The wibbly wobblies with the nice cancer embers. <laughs> that one's for you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Guys, dig in. This looks so good. Peanut. Okay. I look like chickpeas. Peanut Chicken. sauce noodle shells with a fried egg on top and nice little mm. broccoli to get you your health in, you know, because camping health. Oop. I love that the egg yolk adds like a velvety kind of like richness to it. If you like peanut anything, this is this is the jam. Oh wait, mm -hmm. and there's spam in this? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Julia's gonna be mad. <laughs> Julia's gonna be so mad. <laughs> She's missing out on it. It's got like that I salty. Saved her some. There's little tiny pieces of crunchy spam, and then there's big spongy pieces of spam. I gotta find spam. my big spongy. Yeah, I wanna find a big oh, spongy Oh, there's piece. my big spongy, I got it. Mm-hmm. That was nice Ooh. of you to offer. <laughs> Daily value of salt content, kind of worth it. It's no. so That's smoky. Why is spam so smoky? I, well, I mean, we well, did yeah. cook over an open fire. An open fire. It's so good. All the it's yummy so carcinogens are in it. The pasta is so smooth and creamy. And like Justin said, it's not quite al dente, but it's like not soggy either. So it's a mm -hmm. very pleasing, pleasing bite. I would eat this not even on a camp trip. Like this is like, this is like a, this is a meal. I'm going to give you a nine. Mm. Going to give you a Whoa. nine. Um, and now I'm understanding why you rated lower yeah, so you could rate higher exactly. later. Guys, because... there's a method to my supposed meanness. I was not very hungry when I started and like I'm already done. Yeah. What's your rating? I'm gonna go ahead and give this a 7.8. There's, cause I think the main issue with the last one mm -hmm. was that there wasn't like sweetness or acidity. And I think that there is a certain level of acidity and sweetness to this. Also the richness from the yolk is rad. So and good. honestly, like the pasta is cooked like near perfect this to is my me. favorite i'm gonna give myself an 8.5 Ooh. yeah okay uh-huh this is really comforting it's like really good comfort food how are you gonna top yourself next who knows uh, maybe i won't dinner chili we're gonna put our broccoli stems our remaining beans maybe some of our canned corn both cans of our tomatoes into the cast iron over the fire. And then maybe we'll pour in a little bit of condensed milk just for like a slight touch of sweetness in there. And I feel like we should do something with this and do something with this. And I feel like we should make a potato pancake of some sort to go along with our chili, like a little bit of starchy goodness, you know? Shall we go in with some oil then and our broccoli stems? Oh yeah. Ooh. Ooh, they're already blistering. Okay, let's go in with some spices. A little bit of taco seasoning. We're gonna put it in a little bit of a Trader Joe's umami mushroom-based seasoning. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Spices, can't cook without them. Not even when you're camping. Then we're gonna throw in some beans. These beans actually still have the uh, pasta liquid that I kept over from lunch. So we got a little bit of starchiness. There's also a lot of salt in these cans. So I'm just gonna dump out a little bit of liquid. Don't want too much in there. Then we got some cream style corn. And I'm thinking we use a little bit in here for flavor. There's some sodium, there's some sugar. Delicious stuff. I think we want this corn liquid because it's pretty much all pureed with the corn. That looks disgusting. Yum. Ooh, I think I've got two different spices. This one has chili style seasoning and this one has garlic, olive oil and seasoning. This, uh, Yum. This is looking hot. Nice chilies. We're just gonna let that go. The flavors are gonna get better. Potato pancakes, Chelsea, what shall we do? You got any valuable input for us, sir? He probably wants peanut butter in there, though. 
In order to make our potato pancakes, we're going to open this. It looks nice. We got some garlic and parsley in here, apparently. I want some corn in there, so I'm gonna pour a little bit of corn in there. <laughs> and I have no idea what I'm doing, by the way. What spices would you like in our pancakes? Surprise. You want a surprise? I want a surprise. Well, then let's go in with all the corn. So these are gonna be like a savory, sweet kind of pancake. Yes, exactly. I'm gonna put the remaining fennel that we have into our chili. A little bit of citron peppercorn going in, a little bit of a tingly sensation, a little bit of slight spice. And I think we're gonna go in with a little bit of everything seasoning. I think this is gonna be quite good. And the potatoes are already starting to absorb all of the moisture from the corn. And I think I wanna go in with a little bit of milk to loosen it, just a slad bit. Slad. Is that a word? That's slightly and tad. You know, Shakespeare made up words that didn't exist and we love him, so. We're gonna go in with our cheese. <gasps> From the mac and cheese box? Wow. Yeah. <gasps> oh my God, it's not actually powder. I no. was expecting powder. Whenever you get the shells, it's always like the ooh. Oh my God. <gasps> oh my God. Dude. That's so good and so salty. This is gonna be delicious. I still want it to reduce a little bit more, but I think what I'm gonna do is really scrape out this corn. There's like modified cornstarch in the ingredients, so that's gonna help us thicken it up a little bit. What I'm gonna do is take a little bit of this, plop it back in, help it warm up the contents, shake it up a little bit, and then pour it back in. A little bit at a time. I don't wanna go too hard on it. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. Mom, I have lunch for you. Do you want an egg? I can make you an egg right now. Mama Bear's back. She went on a very long trek to find us internet. I got you some spongy spams. Oh, yes. And a runny egg. Mm. Oh, careful, Gus. Mmm, creamy. Oh, awesome, June. See, this is what I mean. This is this is how spam from my childhood needs to oh, be. Oh, big old meat cube. I like the breakfast tacos more. I gave them a really high rating, mm -hmm. so that makes sense. I love this. I love that you made spongy spam for me. That shows <laughs> a lot of love and care for me. Thank you. My heart feels seven point eight. Okay. Yeah. Seven point eight spams. Yeah, that's around the same range as everybody else. Like I gave Justin. it a nine. Wow, Ch Chelsea really <laughs> liked it. Chelsea really liked it. <laughs> Not too bad. Could be better, I suppose, but you know, sun's coming out. You get your nice little shots. That one's a little burnt, whatever. Lots of broccoli and beans. We're eating. Oh energy. my god, we're eating? Yes. Yeah. <gasps> Wouldn't it be nice if, if we, we could eat eating? Good eating. <laughs> this is trash chili. <gasps> it has a uh, creamed corn and broccoli stem and black and cannellini bean mixture with diced tomatoes, two kinds, different kinds of seasonings in it. And then we also have some grilled plops of mashed potato, corn, and basically Velveeta-esque cheese sauce. Oh. Seared until you get some nice little blackening carcinogens on there. Mm. Just the way you like your camp food. This is my ultimate mush food dream. Ooh, I like the chill. You like the chill? Mm -hmm. It's yeah. definitely salty, but I like the corn in it. Wow. It's like cheesy polenta. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. If this isn't a real, like, a real reason to be cooking with instant mash. What is? Oh, it is know? an instant mash? Yeah. Instant mash. How did you like cooking with it? Was it like fine? I poured the mash into a bowl, added milk, added cheese. Do you not know cheese? that it's one of her favorite ingredients? No. Wait, mm. Okay, you added milk, added cheese. Since I've started working with June, I've been flabbergasted by her obsession slash love of instant mash. I think the plop itself 
is my favorite part, which mm -hmm. I'm glad I asked for extra because I had a feeling I'd love it. I like how like it's not very soupy. It's more like chunky mm -hmm. and chewy. Mm -hmm. I don't know if chewy is the right Bordering word. Bordering on a sauce. Sauce, yeah. Mm. And I also love the broccoli stem. Is it like smoky paprika or something? Good palate. <laughs> I thought you ran out. I did, but it was in the taco mix. Ha ha! Ah. I also really like, there's the cream corn that's in this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's like, the, that's like the secret ingredient to this. Can I also say the one thing that it's missing is the carryover from breakfast? Mm. Oh no, salt? Uh -oh. Sour cream. Oh, sour cream. <laughs> if I was camping and I had just come back from, you know when you accidentally go camping and you, not actually go camping, but you actually go hiking and it says it's four miles, but you find out it's four miles one way and it's four miles, and then uh -huh. like, <laughs> like this would be the perfect thing to have after yes. that. I will piggyback off of what Julia was saying and say that this is the most campy of all the things that you've made. Yes, Like this yes. is something I'd actually imagine and like I've eaten some, I've definitely eaten chili in the woods before and this instant mash is actually like genuinely something that is like would be a good hack for people mm. nice. in the woods. I'm gonna give this like an 8.8. .8. This is really good and very <gasps> campy. Holy very camp, no, but actually just like very so like camp. going to camp, I would eat this and. Wow. What does it say about you that you trashed the first one and then you like the trash chili the best? Oh, I gotta tell you <laughs> that my favorite things that I've eaten of June's that I've seen on YouTube are the trash food. I also just appreciate the idea behind it that we're putting everything we got left over in the chili. Yeah. Oh, is it a leftover chili technically? Just the broccoli stems. Broccoli. And broccoli the open bro black and the bra beans. Yeah. Black beans. Do I want to rate higher or lower than you? Lower. <laughs> I feel like your favorite thing was the tacos. These cheese plops, <laughs> if they had spam in them, would be a perfect 10. But you already used all the spam on the other ones because you know how much I love spam. But this is hitting a different spot. I felt really sad. I felt like I came back to a chaotic scene here. And I feel like it's washing away. And for that, I want to give this a 9.3. Wow. Wow. That peanut dish, I, I I can't let anything be above it for me. I agree with you. The peanut dish was so comforting. Was, because, I mean, it, it, was, it is really well balanced. I'm going to give it an 8.5, too. Or wow. Did somebody say 8.5? No, he said 8.8. 8.5. Really yeah. Wow. Uh -huh. okay. I'm going to go with a 7.2 okay. on this because wow. I've eaten this so many times because this is something that I cook at home all the time. Mm. It doesn't feel special to me. But the peanut noodles, those were good. Mm -hmm. Dessert, next. Dessert. Thank you, Jim. <laughs> Thank you. Can I clean dishes? Anyone have any? We have three plantains and some tortillas left. We have some condensed milk. We have some peanut butter. We have a lot of cheese sauce. And we have one egg. And I honestly don't think we can eat all of this after just eating our dinner. But I feel like we can fry up two of these plantains and then we can fry up some of our tortillas and we crunch them up and then we just drizzle them with peanut butter sauce, condensed milk, and cheese sauce. These aren't hot enough. I'm going to need that grill right over there. <laughs> oh my God, that's adorable. Oh, that's not stable at all, huh? So we're going to trim off the ends down the middle, going to peel it. Ooh, okay, these look nice. Have you ever had fried plantains before? Oh yeah. I've oh. only had them really well done and I don't think I can mimic that degree of mastery, but I'm gonna try. I also don't think we have enough oil, but we will make do. Look at the gorgeous color. It's like orange. We just need like way more oil than I have right now to cook these. Hanging out with my best friends at work in the wilderness. We're gonna be the new Blue's Clues. We're gonna have one egg left over, one cheese packet left over, and one plantain left over. I feel like that's also a recipe for something freaking delicious. We also have a lot of peanut butter and condensed milk. Look at that condensed milk. That shouldn't have even been in my budget, Chelsea. I'm sorry. This could have been a $15 budget eat. It's so beautiful, Chels. Look at that. I've discovered today that my favorite thing to do is to stare into the fire and watch it cook things. Ideally, not my hand, but you know. The smoke that hits your eyes and makes you cry. Highly recommended, at least 
four times a day. I also think I just really needed a vacation and this is the closest thing I've had to it in a year. Julia just asked me if I miss my queen's kitchen. I No, I also don't miss Aaron saying nothing is spicy enough for him. Literally nobody has told me today that nothing is spicy enough and that just delights me. Very sad about these, but we're just gonna heat some up for texture. I'm just going to take, I don't know, a quarter cup of peanut butter, not much. We're gonna drizzle in some condensed milk for sweetness. And then we're gonna mix in a little bit of milk to loosen it, just slightly. See, that's hypnotic to me, more than the fire, sometimes. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Except when it separates and it starts to look like boogers. <laughs> it's okay, we're gonna make it smooth again, don't worry about it. And then it's gonna be a delicious dipping sauce for our plantains. It's coming together. It's glorious. Nice little dipping sauce. ASMR time. We should have done this all day. I'm gonna add a little bit more milk just to make it more drizzleable. So presentation is everything, as you know. Looking nice and gorgeously golden. Wow. Holy schmoly. Yes. Yes. I should probably swish the pan a little bit though so that they get a little more evenly cooked. It just really depends on where you go. Like Wegmans didn't have that many great deals, yeah. but that saver shop did. So, what, so what's the takeaway? Is that it's cheaper here? Go to the gas station shop and buy your groceries there, I guess. <laughs> a lot of people ask me where to shop and I think the end of the story is just like, check out where you live and scout out the deals because every different place has very different offerings, so. Deals do exist, just not the same everywhere. But you just gotta explore. Look, I bet if we found some mushrooms, they would have been free. We also could have died from them, but we you know. We also could have tripped. True, <laughs> just you get what you pay for and you get what you put in sometimes, so. We're gonna make the cheese sauce last because I need hot milk to make this cheese sauce. So I'm just gonna pour it into its little bowl. Wow, doesn't that look delicious, Chelsea? Mmm. <laughs> You want a bite? It's just pure sodium. I don't even know what else is in here. But living isn't great for you guys, you know? Once you're born, you gotta die. True facts. Oh, and the third sauce we don't need to make. The third sauce is just gonna be condensed milk. Drizzled on over. Tortillas going in. Getting toasty, getting dehydrated, getting a little crispy. We got a little bit corniness, we got a little bit of plantaininess, and then we're gonna douse it in more sugar and cheese. I'm gonna heat up some milk in here for our cheese sauce. Oh yeah. Is that gonna melt? Yeah. It will. In due time, it will. It's getting late, guys. It's past 6 p.m. We've been cooking all day. We've been eating all day. This, this. Sauce is very orange right now. It's got a lot of embers in it. Nothing that we ate today is really healthy and now we have all sorts of woodland gifts of spicing in there. I'll kiss him again. I think he just wants to be on camera. I love you. Do you want some cheese? Oh, you do want some cheese. I made a plantain with peanut butter for you too, buddy. Yeah, it's supposed to reduce a little bit, but I think our fire died. I can fix it. No. Fix it. Let's not fix it. It's definitely fixable. But what if I don't want it to fix? I just want it to die. This is God's way of telling us that we need to end this episode <laughs> right now. And I can talk about white claw if I want. I just had a half a can. It's glorious. I feel very happy right now. You give her booze once. It will never leave her system. Oh yeah, look at that drizzle. You know, White Claw just makes me appreciate the finer things in life a little bit more. What finer things? Cheese bubbling on a cast iron over fire beautifully built by Justin Sullivan, shot beautifully by Chelsea Lupkin, and produced beautifully by Julia Smith. Brought to you by Delish. We're gonna separate the plantain chips onto three different plates for three different flavors. The corn one will be the cheese one, obviously. I also really, 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 really want to get some of these on here.
Okay, can you tell us what's going yes, on? Yes, we have plantain and tortilla chips-ish with condensed milk, peanut butter, and cheese sauce. So they're like plantain nacho kinda, things? Kinda, okay. Yeah, yeah. Have you had any yet? Yes, okay. I had the cheese one and it is delightful. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh. The tortilla is highly chewy. The cheese sauce is like oh, oh. everything that I want in a cheese sauce. It's thick and creamy. Mm -hmm. Perfect. You'll like this like one. That one. You don't like this no, one? No, I don't like that one. I don't like it. Okay. I love you. I don't like it. Okay. Okay. She's good. She's, She's good. good. She's good. She's good. <laughs> That's all we got. This is all we got left. <laughs> this tastes like, good. you know, when you go to a basketball game and you get the nachos and the, the, yes. the, the, the orange cheese, it's it that. It looks like movie theater yeah. nacho cheese. Uh huh. Mm. I'm gonna try oh my God, that's so good. Right? It's like that. I hadn't had it yet. Oh, the peanut butter. It's not dessert, but it's the type of dessert I like, which is just an it's appetizer. <laughs> oh, wow. That's the really peanut, peanut butter. Peanut Holy peanut like. And the plantains are super sweet. So this is like even more desserty than I thought that it would be because I thought like with the peanut it would have like more of a salt factor but it's a lot sweeter and I like that it's like the dessert version of earlier the tortilla chips are a little soggy and then like chewy you know that's my only dock but I think that's just because it's been sitting I'm assuming right also unfortunately that plantain was not brown enough I don't think and I wasn't able to get the fire hot enough to really fry these boys but they're still pretty good Ooh, actually, now I'm going back for the sweetened condensed one. I like it way more. Th wow. With the brown, a uh, super brown cancerous one. Mm -hmm. Very, mmm. Very, mmm. Very, mmm. <laughs> I think the peanut butter one is, is I can't believe I'm going to say this, but too peanut buttery. Yeah. What? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's. <laughs> but I put less peanut butter in it because there's more condensed milk and milk than peanut butter. I don't butter. know. It's overpowering, but delicious. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Never right. have I ever seen you be so annoyed at me. <laughs> Don't say shit about peanut butter in front of me. Um, I think we see a clear winner though. Trashy mm. cheese plate? Uh huh. Love a cheese plate. Mm hmm. Okay. It's all good to me. I think the peanut butter one, I thought I was going to like that one the best, but these two shocked me. Mm. I was really concerned about the cheese yeah. one, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but. Mm. Are we doing a rating overall, or do you want to do individual ratings? No, we uh, overall. Yeah, overall, overall. No, the ramen was my least favorite. <laughs> no offense. The, 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 there has to be a least favorite in the world. Well, right? wait, rate these first. No, I don't know. No, I'm oh, thinking. Okay, I'm, okay, I'm okay, thinking. Okay. I'm like, so ramen is my least favorite. <laughs> this is my second to least favorite. <laughs> That's not. But it, I'm not going to explain myself. Um, <laughs> I'm giving it a six point six six. Whoa. I think these are good and i really like the nacho ones it's very nostalgic of either going to a sporting event a movie theater that cheese the is opera. like the opera oh yeah. yeah that's a dope opera snack oh gus you have a treat oh yeah let's... guys cookie gus we what have a cookie? treat yeah. cookie treat Woohoo! Wait, tell them what you're what you're serving him okay Chris. this is peanut butter with lightly seared plantain sir is it a 10 gus is it, do, a, is it a 10? It depends how many licks. If he licks the bowl entirely clean, it's a 10. Oh, wow. If he leaves any remnants, it's like an eight. Can I have one of those? Does he do below an eight? He doesn't do below eight. <laughs> if he doesn't eat it, then it's just like, you failed. Hmm. He's having a difficult time. I think it's stuck to the bowl. What is your score? Yeah, yeah it's true. He also did just eat dinner, so. That's true. This proves that he likes it even that much. That's true. It's like in the Harry Potter scene where you're reading the tea. It's a 10. Yay! <laughs> you did it! You, you did, did it. it! Wait, June, I had a present for you. A present? Congrats. To be fair. Oh my god. Your first budget eats gone camping Yay. and you and you did it. <laughs> Let's get wasted, guys. <laughs> they are really disgusting. <laughs> chim chim me, chim chim me, chim chim chim. Oh, you really do have so much. <laughs> <laughs> when you're cooking with June, it's, fine, it's fine. all good for you. Gus My rating to... is, I'm going to give the cheese one a 10. Wow. I'm going to give the condensed milk one maybe like a 6.5. That's still passing. You yeah. guys are not mean enough. Wow. I'm going to give this an 8.7, 8 8 .7, just a tenth of a point less than last time, just because I don't really know how camp foody this is, but mm. you've got to love a classic neon orange, not real cheese color sauce. June is a, a creative genius, so maybe now everybody else will. And a really dirty one, guys. Favorite meals of the day? 
Rapid fire, Chels. Peanut noodles. Spam cubes. <laughs> and uh, six spice ramen chunkies. That's unbelievable. I cannot believe. I loved it. Conditioner ramen. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep, this way. We're trying to outro here. Okay, sorry, outro. Okay, take two. Take two. <laughs> we didn't say anything. We tell people, Bye. Tell, no, Bye. tell people to subscribe and swipe up and stuff. Yeah. There swipe you go. Up on YouTube. There you go. <laughs> Just know. go to the comments. Do you think we won a Webby or not? No. no. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> we got you guys. That's the best prize of all. Am I right? Am I right? Love you, my fans. Crop it on. <laughs> hey. I love you, my fans. <laughs>